how are you guys? My name is Helen Velasquez and I'm a Mexican living in Ireland. I have a confession to make. This video was supposed to be recorded two hours ago, but my camera died. And so I had to wait around. <laughs> it's now currently 6 p.m. here in Ireland, a nice Saturday evening. So I just thought I had a bit time for myself to talk about more wedding planning because yes you guessed it the wedding is postponed again and you know what i'm okay with it i really really am i'm okay with it <laughs> let's get started this video is going to be about making souvenirs or so-called favors for your guests at your wedding and my wedding i don't know if i ever mentioned this actually in this channel but my wedding is vintage rose gold traveler and so one of the things that I really wanted is have luggage tags for my guest. But so I was not happy enough with like regular, ordinary, just luggage tags. It was hard to find this. I had to tell friends that were all across Ireland, meaning Sligo, Dublin, uh, Letterkenny, all different places to gather them because I was only able to get my hands in 17 of these guys and the rest was my friend's help so thank you so much for that <laughs> you know who you are so i'm not gonna be making the 52 <laughs> that i have because they're already done um i'm actually gonna be making the main ones which is my one the bride and the groom let's get started with these luggage tags diy wedding edition first things first i wanted to personalize these items because as you may know, if you have watched my videos that I sporadically put on the internet, I really like to always leave my touch, my personal ideas in what I do. And in this case, I wanted a nice design. I just thought messages in English and Spanish, since I'm Mexican, I speak Spanish, not Mexican. So <laughs> I'm gonna give you six examples. What's meant to be, will always find a way. Meet us in Mexico. Trust the timing of your life. Viajar es vivir. Haz lo que ames. And last but not least, viajar es cambiarle la ropa a el alma. <laughs> so this quotes are just a bit of what I found that I really thought they speak to me and they they had a lot to do with traveling so I'm happy enough with them and I have examples in my back as well but, but anyways the mystery how did I how the heck did I get this gold into the tags Do you have any idea well if you watch my bridal denim DIY jacket I use the same technique. I use gold foiled. Where is it? Here. Deco foiled, which it transfers with heat or what I use in the past, double-sided tape, special, special double-sided tape. And so today I'm going to be making just two, the main important ones, because I already have the others. Beautiful lace. In two colors, white and ivory. Have some pearls in all different sizes. Some nice key embellishments. I don't know, they're just so cute. Fabric glue. I have this nice ribbon that I used in the past and I just thought I could maybe hang the keys. I have my trustworthy embellishment pen. You know, it's to actually put the studs in place. And for the groom, <laughs> I have fabric, black and white fabric. Looks like this. It's very, very basic. It just gets like heat up. You can change the different tips. There's all different tips that I have. Oh, and buttons. Lots of spare, cool buttons. If you start by the first letter and then the last one, you are, oh my god, guys. 
My face looks so funny in the reflection of this thing. Look. Hello. Hi. Hi. I was, I was trying, trying to say. say. <laughs> this is so funny. I can't. Right. Let's ignore it because I cannot focus. Really, this technique I figure is not for beginners. You have to practice before using the product that you want. But here we go, results. Oh, wow. Glue is literally only in the middle. Only a wee stripe, so that's good. I anticipated that and I have this glue. I'm gonna add a few dots. So. I'm gonna put it like, like this. Because it's the perfect size. I feel like this one's too small. That one's too big. But these here are just like the perfect little size. Hello, say hi to Django. As usual, you know, he's my buddy and he wants to be in the videos too. Are you gonna help me? That is so pretty already. Now, I'm gonna add a bit of Embellishments, why not? And I think the best would be shiny ones. The glue is already added, it's gonna be there. Uh, that side. Fast forward the camera so you don't get bored, and see you when that's done. ones how beautiful i think that looks absolutely gorgeous huh love it wait for the result it's so beautiful oh you know what the wine is exhausting it's it's amazing but it's tiring i would love to make the groom groom's tag we're gonna plug in our hot tool again. So this time the tool was perfectly not too hot. I have this mini iron hot iron tool, like a strainer. We're gonna cut the fabric. Seams, you know, when you sew, you already sew, you seam working right now. You have the part that is cut. I'm just gonna put this real quick because I noticed you can see the airplane still so I need like a white background that way when I put this you cannot see it anymore and it looks flawless
guys thank you so much for sticking with me we are done so there you have it i have the bride and the groom tag i feel so so good thank you so much for watching this tutorial with me remember be creative just explore your imagination and have lots of fun thanks for watching i'll see you in the next diy bridal stuff or whatever i feel like sharing take care bye oh don't forget to subscribe please because it really helps me thank you so much guys have a great evening and enjoy your weekend and i'll see you in the next one bye Thank you.